world's top 10 dangerous dog breeds. Friends, if we talk about most loyal pet animal in this world then, the first number will be dogs. Dogs are honest to the owner and many times dog put their life at risk and save the owner's life. Dogs are mainly used in army forces and police forces to recognize bombs, illegal drugs, or to find criminals by smelling. In USA, more than 100 million dogs are found according to the researchers. So, today we are going to talk about most dangerous dog breeds in this world. In many countries, dog breeds are banned. So, without further ado, let's begin in our topic. In number 10, we have Chow Chow. It's common knowledge amongst dog enthusiasts that Chow Chows are a breed infamous for their aggressive behavior and danger to other people and animals around them. Their instincts can kick in when they see something like a cat or small dog, and they can become aggressive. Chow Chows are a very primitive breed of dog that are highly territorial and can come across as aggressive. Although aggression, although aggression can be a strong part of their personality, they can be raised to be friendly and loving dogs. This is the most dangerous of all dog temperaments, and it is widely common in the Chow Chow. This dog is protective over his territory and his family, and won't willingly allow people into his home and yard. In number 9, we have Siberian Husky which is one of the most dangerous dog. Siberian Huskies, just like the Alaskan Malamutes, have been bred as working dogs, and that is the reason they are not very social. But, with the right approach and training, you can make them become more friendly and calm. Poor socialization and training will surely turn them into aggressive and dangerous dogs. Siberian Huskies are very similar to their wolf ancestors and are among the fittest dog breeds in the world. According to the AKC, they were the original breed used in the 408-mile-long All-Alaskan Sweepstakes race. But this lupin ancestry also makes them fairly dangerous. The breed was responsible for 26 mauling deaths in the US and Canada between 1982 and 2014. The report covering the period between 2005 and 2016 puts them at 7th place with 12 fatalities. In number 8, we have Boxer. Boxers are hunting dogs, and they have been used as an attack and guard dogs ever since being bred. They have a powerful jaw and bite which is perfect for protection. But, if not properly trained they can turn out very aggressive attackers. Another thing to keep in mind while training boxers is to avoid harsh treatment and punishment, as these factors can make the situation even worse. Boxers are powerful, muscular dogs. They are very energetic, intelligent and fiercely loyal to their families. From September 1982 to December 31, 2014, boxers were responsible for 62 attacks doing bodily harm and 7 deaths, 19 victims were children and 23 were adults. In number 7, we have Wolfbred. As you may have already understood, these dogs are a cross between gray wolves and dogs, and this makes them quite unpredictable. They have a head of their own, wild and demanding. Many states have already banned the possibility of owning a wolf hybrid as a house pet. Dogs of this breed, a cross between a domestic dog and wild wolf, attacked 85 people, 70 of whom were children, between 1981 and 2014. 19 of them died. This puts wolf hybrids in the top 5 of the most attacks by dogs category. During the same period of time, there were 49 maimings for which wolf hybrids were responsible. In number 6, we have Bullmastiff. As guard dogs, Bullmastiffs have a natural aggressive temperament, which if not properly cared for can turn out fatal. They are large dogs, therefore, training them and making them obedient is a must in order to avoid unpleasant confrontations. These are strong and loyal dogs. This powerhouse of a dog weighs a 200 pounds, it is rarely afraid of anything. The Bullmastiff is also very territorial, according to Vet Street. The report analyzing the years between 1982 and 2014 says there were 28 attacks by Mastiffs, 23 of them against children, resulting in 5 deaths. In number 5, we have Doberman, are very intelligent, strong and very sensitive to sound. They will sense danger and will react on their own. They are naturally aggressive towards strangers, and also their size plays a role in making them even more dangerous. If not properly trained and obedient, they can cause quite some damage. Dobermans are considered a family-friendly dog to own, as they are very loyal. The only time they are not friendly is when they feel a threat to their owners. According to a report covering dog attack, deaths and maimings in US and Canada in the period between 1982 and 2014, there have been 23 Doberman attacks, 12 of them against children, that resulted in bodily harm and 8 deaths, ranking this dog breed most dangerous. 
In number 4, we have Caucasian Shepherd, so when they have a poor owner who has badly trained them or not at all, then there is an increased chance of aggressive behavior, especially to strangers, which can potentially lead to injury. The breed has been used as a shepherd dog to guard the flock for hundreds of years. This is a breed that takes a whole lot of time, dedication, and training to achieve supreme obedience and manageable behavior. If you don't have much time or space, the Caucasian of Charka can be a handful, as well as dangerous. In number 3, we have German Shepherd, can react on great speed, and are extremely focused on taking the danger down, they can cause fatal damage. GSD's aggressive nature can be somewhat toned down by appropriate training, socialization, and affection. In this way, you will get a loyal and very loving household pet. According to the 12-year US dog US dog bite fatality chart, German Shepherds ranked third in terms of most deaths caused, a total of 15, or 3.8%. It also ranked third in the 1982-2014 report with 113 attacks and 15 deaths. Being active is innate to the German Shepherd. This dog is known for its keen mind and a brave, confident and assertive demeanor. In number 2, we have Rottweilers. Rottweilers have one of the worst tempers and are also considered unsuitable family dogs, especially for families where the owner is an amateur, without a calm and assertive nature. They need to be continuously trained and attentive to, in order to avoid dangerous reactions. A breed of dog that is well known for its fearsome reputation. These dogs are one of the oldest breed herding farm animals. Rottweilers are very intelligent and aggressive by nature, and are very effective as guard dogs. Almost half of the death caused by dog attacks in the US are reported to be caused by them. They are the second most lethal dog breed in the US, Rottweilers and Pitbull Terriers accounted for 76% of all fatal attacks during the 12-year period from 2005 to 2016, according to research. Rottweilers alone were responsible for 43 cases, or 11% of all deaths. This dog breed is also prone to obesity, since they are a large breed that is prone to hypothyroidism. In number 1, we have pit bulls, pit bulls are fighter dogs, and they will enthusiastically go after their task until completed. They have a very powerful jaw and bite, and are well known to not release their bite so easily. Therefore, they should be trained and socialized from an early age in order to avoid unnecessary dangerous situations. A total of 31 US dog bite-related fatalities occurred in 2016, according to dogspite.org, a public education website about dangerous dog breeds. Despite being regulated, being regulated in military housing facilities and over 900 U.S. cities, pit bulls contributed to 71% 22 of these deaths. According to another report, covering a period between 1982 and 2014 in the U.S. and Canada, pit bulls attacked 3,397 people, killing 200.